Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It is good to be back after an incredible week. I hit on every single parlay. If you follow me, if you subscribe to me, if you're a patron, you are well aware of this. I gave you a parlay on Friday that hit. I gave you a parlay on Saturday that hit. And I gave you the lock of the week that hit. If you follow me, you're aware of that. And uh, you're probably getting rich. Um. Got a great show for you today, Joe Joyce, Derek Trezora. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently bring down the house and make money betting on the sport of boxing. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the perks so that we can continue to hit and make money betting on the sport of boxing every single week like we've been doing. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Ugh. Okay, let's get into today's show. This is one of the fights, and it's going to be a decent fight. It's two top 20 heavyweights. It's two guys who are past their prime. One guy's 38, one guy's 40, both guys slow, both guys probably shot, both guys are going to get they've been stopped recently. It's one of those fights. The loser should retire, uh, and I think the loser is going to be pretty obvious. I've never been a fan of Joe Joyce, but look, he's a slow, plotting guy. He's mostly a jabber. Big, strong force. That's basic, right? He's straight in. He's stationary. He can't move. He's really slow. His, his, he's just in, out, in, and it's mostly jabbing, jabbing. Once in a while, he throws combinations. Uh, but he's, he's so slow. His, his speed is so problematic. I don't know if it's going to be a problem with Chisora because Chisora's old and shot. Um, but he's inaccurate everything other than the jab. He throws these combinations, and, and, and perhaps just because they're telegraphed and slow, he doesn't really land with things. Uh, he's inaccurate from range. He's inaccurate with everything but his jab. Uh, but he's strong and powerful, and he, he's on, on the front foot. He, he's right in front of you to be hit. He's got a durable chin, so give him that. I mean, um, Zhang is, you know, has all world power so you know getting stopped by him doesn't mean your chin is questionable just put that out there uh he keeps his jab out there he's got a nice jab it's strong he, he flips it out there and, and it's powerful without winding up on it uh, but it's easy to counter because i mean everything we say is because he's so slow uh he's easy to counter there's very little movement he gets hit a lot his face swells that's going to be an issue his face swells up. His eyes get swollen. His eyes get shut. Uh, he's, he stays behind a high guard, which is good. But he's so easy to count. He's so easy to go over. And if you go over his gyms, na- nail him with a hook. Now, White's, uh, I mean, Dillian White, Derek Chisora is very, very slow. Very, very slow. So I, I don't know if he's going to be able to time that either. Uh, it's a slow, plotting guy with a good jab, hard hitting, but easy to hit. And easy to counter. It's kind of what he is. You know, it, it, it's, there's not much to him. He's a strong guy, a force um, who, who comes right at you. And, and it's behind the jab and a high guard. And he's easy to time, easy to counter, easy to hit. Anyone with any speed can beat this guy. Fortunately for him, he's not fighting anyone with any speed. He's fighting Derek Chisora. War, 40 years old, totally shot. Looked horrible in the last nine rounds of the Fury fight. Did pretty well in the first round. Uh, and looked horrible in beating Ger- Gerald Washington. Who's even more shot. Looked horrible in that fight. Did get the win. Um, shot. Jabber. Wants to get on the inside. When he doesn't use his jab, um, that's when he gets nailed. That's that's problematic. When he works behind his jab, he's not a, not a terrible fighter. He's got top-notch power, too. 
And, and he fights in a rhythm. And, and he can slip shots a little bit. But he, you can see he's just aged. And he hasn't aged well. And he's 40. And I'm 40. You know, I, I can't do the things that I did when I was 28. Right? So, he's 40. He's slow. He, his rhythm is slowing down. You know, I'm not saying he's like James Tony. He's not. But he, he had a little rhythm. Like Tony did, and, and he was constantly in his rhythm, slipping, slipping, and he'd nail you with a, a right hand. He can switch stances too. He, he's got some skills. He's just over it. Uh, and again, in no way, shape, or form am I comparing Ter- Derek to Zora to the great legendary James Tony. I'm just saying, I was just using that style as a little something that he does. Um, his volume has dropped defensively. Uh, he's gotten more defensive. He's gotten more in survival mode. He's not the war that, that, that we're used to. He eats a lot of shots. He's short-armed. He's 6'1", which is short for the division. He's just going to have trouble. There's, he can't slip and slide on the inside anymore, so he's going to be at the end of Chisora's jab. Um He's got a durable chin, uh, and he can switch stance. So, the, I mean, he he might be able to survive for a while, but I I do think, I I think Joyce is going to stop him. Um, so let's let's you know, I, I think eventually from from just the the, the on kind of like what happened with the watch, well, it's going to be a combination of shots, and I think Chisora's going to get stopped. You know, on conscious swelling, something like that is ultimately what I think. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think he's going to be able to get his way in, and I think he's just going to eat that jab and then eventually going to eat some power shots. It's not going to go well for him. It's, it's ultimately not going to go well for him. So let's see the money line. Um, we don't have any props. I, I do like Joyce by stoppage. We don't have that right now. I like Joe Joyce on a two-times bet. I'm very confident that he wins this bet. A $200 bet makes us forty seven oh five. This is a great bet to add to our parlay. So check back on two things. Check back on uh, Joe Joyce by stoppage, and then check out. Uh, this will probably be a part of our parlay. There's not a ton of fights this week, so this is something that we can definitely add, that we can make money on. The odds are not terrible. It's minus 425. It's something you can build your parlay around. We can throw a couple other fights around it. Really bring it down, bring the total odds down. And uh, when we do look at it, we'll, we'll also look at Joyce to stoppage. And if that's paying positive money, I think that's a good bet. All right, let me know what you guys think. It's simple, easy to say. Joe Joyce on the money line, minus 425, two times bet. Uh, in this case, a $200 bet would make you 4705 And this is also a terrific bet to add to any parlay uh, that you can build around because, like I said, the odds are not atrocious. Um, it is, what is it? What is today? What is today? July 22nd, uh, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to